Believing he had brought home a puppy, a young man soon realized he was wrong. Virtually every child in the world dreams of having their own pet, and while a number of parents refuse, some children are offered a goldfish, a rabbit, a hamster, a cat, or even a dog. And you, were you lucky enough to have a little companion when you were young? This is exactly the theme of this article, and if the title has made you curious, read on for the full story. The anecdote thus begins with an 18-year-old young man to whom something totally unexpected happened when he was back at his parents' house one weekend after spending the week studying at university. When they got home, they realized how badly the little puppy was. He was very thin. His coat was thick and unkempt, and his eyes had a strange orange color. Fortunately, none of this would stop the family from looking after him. The little animal adored the young man who adopted him, and he was clearly ready for anything. For his human, however, he was very distant from other members of his owner's family, which is strange behavior for a dog. Usually, when a pet is adopted by one person, it is adopted by the rest of the family as well. In return, the beast also adopts the family as a whole, especially when it comes to a dog. However, while these are usually willing to distribute love left and right, the little puppy did not allow himself to be petted by other family members at all, and he remained loyal to the teenager who had him, had found in the parking lot. Although they lived in the same house as the boy, the little dog didn't want their affection, and he only cared about one person. Thus, he was very agitated when his master was away during the day, and he was incredibly excited when he came home. The fact that the two shared such a strong bond was great, but it wasn't normal, and over time, it started to cause problems. The family could no longer leave the animal alone in the house, because he would start destroying everything if his best friend was not there to take care of him. They thought that he might be happier outside, which is why they let him frolic in their fenced garden during the day until his master returned. Although the solution seemed perfect, it didn't work. The animal, which in the meantime had grown to a large size without realizing its strength, had no respect for the tiny fence in the garden. In this way, letting him play with other dogs, an activity that should have calmed him down and helped him to expend some energy until his young master's return home, did not have the effect. Discount. Able to leap over the fence in one bound, the family were amazed at the puppy's athleticism and were extremely surprised the first time they saw him do this. His incredible strength and agility are part of the reasons the family decided to name the animal Neo, after the main character in the movie The Matrix. If you don't know this movie, know that said Neo, the hero of the trilogy, is able to defy the laws of physics by making huge jumps and flying. Now, the dog behaved like he was part of a more advanced species of dog, and he was not afraid to do whatever he wanted. The neighbors, however, were not at all delighted with this situation. Owning a purebred German Shepherd, they didn't want to risk a different dog mating with her. Being very nice people, the owners of the German Shepherd just brought Neo home and asked their neighbors uh, to be more careful whenever the dog escaped and entered their garden. Owning a sizable dog themselves, they knew that it is difficult to restrain a large animal when it is trying to escape. As far as Neo was concerned, it was simply impossible. <clears throat> Too high for Neo to manage to jump over it. They thought they had finally solved the problem and told their neighbors that there was no more reason to worry. Neo would no longer play with their dog. But they were wrong. Jumping over it was impossible. The new fence was three meters high. However, it turned out that Neo had found another way to escape. This time, chewing on the fence and making a hole big enough to fit through. 
It wasn't supposed to be possible for a dog, and yet Neo had done it. Was he the strongest dog in the world? Or the chosen one, like the movie character he was named after? Or was there some hidden truth about the dog that the family had yet to find out? The older the dog got, the more obvious it became that something was wrong with him. However, being close to him and loving him, since he was little, Neo's family couldn't see what was wrong. Neo had become incredibly protective, and although his family tried to train him and control his behavior, nothing was working. Neither the videos, nor the books, nor the training methods and techniques were successful. His behavior remained unchanged. They felt like they were guests in Neo's house now, not the other way around. Something had to change. Neo spent long moments of the day observing what was happening in the surroundings. Although being on the lookout is a normal activity for a dog wanting to protect his family, the way Neo looked at those around him was not normal. While many neighbors, and even part of his family, began to see him as a nuisance dog, Neo saw them in exactly the same way. He only had time for one person, and the rest was either a distraction or a threat. A dog that growls and bares its teeth is certainly scary, but few were able to produce the same effect as Neo. Indeed, when he growled, the other dogs quickly moved away from him. Considering all of this, the family began to Google to try and find out what Neo's race was and if there was any explanation for his strange behavior. Having long ears and a long muzzle, he strongly resembled a German Shepherd. He was, however, noticeably taller, and his coat was not as silky, which is why the family thought he must have been a mix of German Shepherd and another breed. The dog breed's book they consulted didn't help them, and Google didn't deliver satisfactory information either. So they decided that it was probably a very strange German Shepherd. They tried again to find different training techniques, but none of the solutions Google offered worked. When you want to educate your dog in the best possible way, it is sometimes necessary to call in a professional. This is all the more necessary when it comes to an abandoned dog. A dog who has been mistreated before may be afraid of certain actions or gestures without our realizing it. However, we will never know if Neo was mistreated before the young man found him, because the family ultimately decided not to get professional help. They thus continued to try to train it themselves, so they continued to care for and love him, although they had to struggle with his strange personality. When the student was there, Neo was a very nice and pleasant dog, but when he was away, the animal was unbearable. In the meantime, he had escaped so many times from their garden that his owners did not know what means to use to stop him. If he wanted to go out, there was nothing they could do to stop him. Sometimes he was happy to stay in the yard and keep the house, but other days his intense need for freedom was felt and he was going to roam as he pleased. Although he seemed to like the young man, it would have been wrong to speak of a master-animal relationship. Likewise, he had never considered the family to be his owners, and he behaved as if the house was his own. No matter what means they used, they never managed to impose their authority on him, and he felt like their equal in the house. One day, while he was alone and very agitated in the garden, Neo decided to pay a new visit to the German shepherd of the neighbors next door. His joy would, however, be short-lived because the neighbors were at home, and this time they would not sit idly by. Having had enough of Neo the Pest, as they called it, and knowing that bringing it back to their neighbors was no use, they did something completely different. They liked their neighbors, the owners of Neo, but it was the straw that broke the camel's back, and they decided to solve the problem for good. So instead of bringing the animal home, they called the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. Neo stayed at the shelter all day until his family came home, 
and was informed by the neighbours of what had happened. Knowing how much Neo harassed the German shepherd, his owners were not upset by the actions of their neighbours. They therefore apologised for the problems caused and went to pick up the dog at the shelter. Knowing how much Neo harassed the German shepherd, his owners were not upset by the actions of their neighbours. They therefore apologised for the problems caused and went to pick up the dog at the shelter. When they arrive at the shelter, the manager reacts in a strange way to their request to see Neo. She looked the family members up and down, trying to answer a question she had asked herself several times that day. She didn't answer. Instead, calling the head of the animal control department to ask him to lead them to their pet. They noticed at that moment that she paused before uttering the word animal. The manager's reaction was a bit strange and they didn't quite understand why. For a moment, they came to think that Neo had done something irreparable or that he was wrong. As the animal control officials steered them through the kennel, the tension was palpable the family began to worry. Fearing the worst for Neo, they just hoped he was healthy. You realize it's not a dog, it's a wolf, said the animal control official. This statement left the family speechless and in shock. They were amazed. They clearly had no idea. While they initially thought Neo was a rather peculiar dog, they now understood that his odd features were actually quite normal for a wolf. The question now was whether they would be allowed to take Neo home. <laughs> However, they knew the answer to that question even before they were told, because they knew it is illegal to own wolves in the state of California. This, unless one is Native American or the wolf in question, is part of a rescue operation. Fortunately, they found an animal center capable of accommodating Neo, so although he was at first very restless in his new home, he found his place in a wolf pack. He obviously seemed more at ease than ever. If there is one lesson to be learned from this story, it is to always make sure that you do not adopt a wolf for a dog. Even more so, seeking professional help instead of blindly relying on information provided by Google is never a bad idea.